Hello everyone, welcome again. So in our previous video, we discussed how you can set up the hub and how you can set up the node. Now in this video, we are going to see how you can run your Selenium script with the help of Selenium grid. So before that, let me start my hub. So for starting the hub, this will be the command. So here, what I'm doing is that I will have one node on my Windows machine which will trigger the Chrome browser. The other node will be on our Linux machine which will trigger our Firefox browser. So for starting the node which will trigger the Firefox browser, this will be the command and it will run on our Linux machine. Okay, and to start the node which will trigger our Chrome, this will be the command and it will run on our Windows machine. So now let me open the browser and check for the grid console. So as you can see that we are not specify any specific port while running the hub. That's why the port number will be 4444. So now we will have, sorry, we have two nodes. That is one on Linux that will trigger the Firefox, one on Windows that will trigger the Chrome. So again, for writing the Selenium script, I will refer the Bugzilla web page. So now here, there will be slight difference in writing the Selenium script because we need to provide information regarding the hub and also which browser which we want to trigger. So inside my Selenium grid folder, I will add a class. Let me call it as Firefox test. And as we know that we have an element repository class, which contains some of the common element, which is frequently used inside our script. So I'm going to take the help of this element repository class. So this class is going to extend our element repository class. Now inside this class, I'm going to declare some of the private variable. So private static web driver driver private static web driver weight weight private static desired capabilities so using this class using this class i will tell the hub that this selenium script should go go to which node and also in order to read the configuration from the config.property file we are going to take the help of read config property file. So here I need to create the object of that private static read config property file equal to new read config property. Okay. I will create a static method which will instantiate all this object and I'm going to mark this method with the annotation called before class. So void setup. So first of all, we need to tell the hub that which node, sorry, which browser we want to trigger. So that can be done with the help of desired capability class. So as you can see that using the desired capabilities, I can see that I have capabilities for Android, Chrome, Firefox and other all other browser so here i will take the help of firefox now this statement will tell the hub that use the node where our firefox browser is there okay now using this capability class i can provide other information also such as browser name which we already did and also we can specify the platform so capability sorry cap dot set platform platform dot so as you can see that we have Android, Linux, Unix, Vista and so on. So now in our setup, 
we have one node on Windows machine and one node on the Linux machine. So consider a scenario that on the Windows machine you have specified the Firefox browser and then on the Linux machine also you have specified the Firefox browser. So in that case if you want to trigger on specific platform you need to specify this information with the help of select set platform method okay so for time being we don't require this method so now the next thing is that in the first step we have already specified the information that which browser we need to use the next step is that to specify the location or to tell the script that where our hub is there so again new so just like that while starting our node we specify this parameter to tell the node that where the hub is located similar stuff we need to do inside our selenium script also so for that we are going to take the help of remote web driver class here you need to specify the url to hub so new url and location to the hub Now here I will specify the IP address, actual IP address. The reason why I am doing is that because we have one remote node also that is on Linux machine. So if you specify the local host, that remote node will not be able to communicate with the, uh, sorry, this uh, particular script will not be able to communicate with the remote node. And here I am specifying the capability object which will tell which browser we need to pick up. So once this is done, again after this I need to, as we know that we are using element repository, so we need to initialize this. So again page factory dot init element driver object and the class where all our elements are there. So class. After this I am going to in instantiate wait object. So wait equal to new web driver wait maximum 40 seconds so this will be driver comma 40 seconds and also I will put an implicit wait also so driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit wait so 30 second and time unit dot seconds so here both I'm sorry here I'm specifying both type of weight that is explicit bit weight and implicit weight also and I think it is going to throw me a checked exception so I'm going to use throws keyword now once this is done I will call the get method to open the page so dot get and this is coming from the configure property file so get URL so this is coming from your config dot property so there will be a one more method public static void tear down which will just close our web driver so I'm going to use after class annotation and here I will use an attribute called always run equal to true so no matter whether the configuration failed or our test method fails this method will execute anyhow putting a null check so driver driver is not equal to null then close the browser quit the driver and nullify the driver instance so now the test case which I'm going to automate is that inside the bugzilla click on file a bug do a login click on administrator verify that we belongs to administrator page or not then do a logout 
okay and similarly for the preferences also so the first test method will be public void test admin and I need to use the annotation at the rate test along with this I'm going to use a priority attribute and setting the priority as one so after getting the URL first of all I need to click on file a bug so if I look at the element repository class I have already initialized the common element with their corresponding locator so for, for filing a bug use, use the link text for bugzilla login use the ID for password again use the ID and so on so here I will use file a bug dot click so this will click on file a bug link then I need to specify the password so bugzilla login sorry username then password send keys file dot get username similarly bugzilla password dot send keys file dot get password okay after that I need to click on login button so login dot click so as soon as I click on login button it will take me to this home page where I need to click on administrator so I will find the xpath for this element so this is the xpath so again here driver dot find element by dot xpath specify the xpath string sorry xpath locator dot click and here after clicking on administrator page I will do the assert that whether we have arrived on administrator page or not so this will be assert again the assert class dot assert true and so in order to get the title I will use driver dot get title dot contains and this will be the string after this I will click on logout button dot click and here after clicking on the logout button so if I click on logout button I need to wait for this particular page to get open so here I will take the help of explicit wait so h1 so do I e well so this is xpath so using the wait object wait dot until inside this I will use expected conditions dot presence of element and the locator will be xpath this is xpath location so there will be one more method which will check for the preferences so test pref and its priority will be 2 so first this method will get executed then this one so here after login I need to specify the xpath for preference element so this is the xpath and after that I'm going to assert the page so now I will check for this string in the title okay after that again I'm clicking on logout and waiting for the home page to appear so this is your explicit wait where I'm, wait, I'm using the expected condition class 
which have a static method called presence of element and I'm waiting for this element which is pointed by this x path okay so now using this statement we have provided which browser we need to put use where is the hub and what element repository class we need to use so now let me run this script so just do a right click run as testng okay so we are getting some exception over here So the exception which we are getting here is because we didn't specify the proper location. So it will be wd slash hub. Okay, so this will be the URL, not this one. Okay. Now I'll run this script. So I started. Let me open the. So as you can see that it has launched the Firefox. Do a login. Do click on administrator, then log out. Again log in click on preferences do a logout and then so as you can see that our script has been executed on Linux platform with the Firefox as a browser and this script is going through our grid so as you can see that this is the log inside the node and if I open my if I open my hub so as you can see that here it has created the information sorry it has given the information that which platform and which browser it is using okay now what I'll do I'll run the same script on Chrome with the Windows as a platform so I will add one more class let me call it as Chrome Chrome test And again, I'm going to copy this piece of code from here to our Chrome test. And also this class will extend your element repository. So now if I trigger this one, it is going to launch the Chrome browser on Windows platform. So here as we specify the capabilities for Firefox we need to specify the capabilities for Chrome now again this will tell to open the Chrome browser so that is the change we need to do in this script so our hub is running our node is running let me run the Chrome script So it has launched the Chrome. Open the Bugzilla, click on login, provide the username, then log out, again login, click on preferences, click on log out and done. So as you can see that this script has now has been executed on the Windows platform with the Chrome as browser. Similarly, you can use for other script also and you can have this configuration, this type of configuration based on the other nodes which have different combination of platform and browser. Okay. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.